Hello YouTubers, Reloading Bench back with you once again. Sorry for the mess on the bench, but today is the last day of gray painting for the 1950-1949 Delta Unisaw. And this came early. And you may be wondering what it is, and maybe that will give you a clue as I uh, open this package. So I'll call this a Father's Day gift to myself slash Veterans Day gift to myself slash slash all kind of all kind of to myself. Ta da! Another goat toy. I'm not going to use the word G-U-N. I'm going to call it a toy. This is a toy. It's a non-functioning toy. And anybody who thinks otherwise is an idiot. And the reason I got this specific version is because it reminded me of exactly what I carried in the military in the early 80s. And that was an old-style M16A1. Not the cutesy M4-ish of today. So when I saw it, I'm like, oh, that's totally old school. Literally. With the uh, Mattel handguards. Mattel being toy, toy plastic. Uh, in fact, in the early 80s, when we would be cleaning our weapons, we would be joking about the fact that uh, these were plastic, just as it is today right now. It was plastic shielded. I'm sure this doesn't have any shielding on it. But I thought it was kind of, oh, there, but wait, there's more. So I thought it was kind of cool to step back in time. Uh, you know my affinity for 1911s, especially with my uh, Turnbull restorations. So those were 100 years old, 104, 105 now. This takes me back 40 years. Actually, uh, 41 years. Too cool. Very, very reminiscent uh, with the integrated carry handle as opposed to you know the Picatinny mount the sights and I should uh, I should uh, bust out my uh, DD 214 oh wow that's heavy that's got weight that's aluminum but it's got weight that that's really heavy uh, because my DD Form 214, yeah, there's no shielding there. Again, there shouldn't be if this is a toy. My DD 214 shows my uh, my marksmanship status as I left the service as an expert. That's heavy too. And there's there's metal in this. But I think it's inside. I think the outside is aluminum and the inside, because the outside doesn't feel too tacky. But up here, it's a lot harder. So, you can, so there's metal right about here. I'm going to guess that's the spring. Uh, I think this is to screw this mount in. That's funny. I wonder if... Separate mount. Much bigger gun. Yeah, that's what that is. Alright, let's let's load it up. We got three Beulets. These are brass. That's irritating. These are brass, so they would shine up very easily. Let's see how... Uh, 
Nope. Goes in like that, but do you have to uh, pull the charging handle back to get it in? Definitely goes in like that. You can see the charging handle going back. Very interesting. It doesn't want to go in very easily. Don't want to force anything. Let's see what the picture looks like. So the picture shows orientation where this is like that. So let's see if that, well, I guess so. Do you wonder how you, uh, That releases that. I wonder if that releases it. Yeah, it does. So that's a that's an operating release. Very cool. These guys, these guys are good. They're very detailed. The folks at Goat. Okay, I'm not a fan of this tape shit here. I guess that'll just be uh, maybe double stack. Who knows? Okay, so that's a little janky. What to expect from the toy factor? Freaking irritating. So this one wants to jump out. So it's in there. We'll cycle it and see what it does. Um, I've seen videos where people try and put uh, these on. And they don't seem to be doing such a great job. Not that I'll do any better. Alright, well there's half of it in. That looks like metal. Nope. Lots of aluminum. Which is cool. Again, it's a toy. Try not to pinch in my fingers. Don't want my fingers pinched. My fatty, fatty fingers. Yeah, this was the, the challenge I saw online. Trying to get the the nut Yeah, we're gonna do that offline because that's a biatch and cameras in the way ish. Uh, this looks like it just kind of Okay, so it looks like there's a little lock there. There's a lock and there's a little screw right there. I'm going to guess to tighten that down. So maybe that's what this included screwdriver 
will help with in addition to that screw. No, that's pretty tight. So we're going to leave that alone. But that's what it looks like. And that's kind of cool. That locks. And we're going to see if... No, nah, it doesn't. No. So there's no... It does not... Uh... Okay, so it's not like the 1911. It's for looks only. Uh, and there's a magnet to close that dust drawer, dust, dust drawer, dust cover. Uh, so it does not feed because this is not hollow. And it doesn't look like the, uh, the rounds advance, which that's a bit of a bummer considering how this actually functions. Same price for both. Definitely an overpriced toy, but considering the weight and size, uh, this is going to go on my desk. This stays on my workbench. This will go on my desk. And again, it's memories from, you know, my military service. I have I have very fond memories of my military service. Would not, uh, would not trade those years for anything. I was just reading about uh, one of the BTS boys finishing up his uh, service in Korea. All of the... Uh, College students uh, must serve two years by the age of 30 in Korea. The Katusas, the Korean augmentation to the United States. Uh, I served over there as well. And uh, I had a uh, Katusa who was a philosopher, philosophy major rather. And uh, he did my fortune using the I Ching, for those of you who may or may not know what that is. And uh, it was a very intelligent young man. And uh, the stuff he was telling me about myself, mind you, he didn't know me per se, you know, other than on base through the military, but didn't know me personally. His name was Cha. And the stuff Cha was telling me about just by me throwing down uh, three pennies uh, and the heads and tails uh, aligned to the... Uh, cryptograms of the I Ching and the stuff he was telling me about myself again for someone who there's no way you know this stuff about me there's no way you know this and uh, the stuff he told me about me was mind-boggling made me a believer some of the stuff he told me was just spot on for somebody who again didn't know me so I'm uh, I'm uh, grateful for, for my time in the military yeah, this is cool. It's quirky. Uh, I think this screw probably just screws that half in. Yeah, I'm going to say that's a cool toy. Again, toy. It's a toy. Mini M16A1 toy. Toy, 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 YouTube. Not a pew pew, not a G-U-N. A toy. A toy, toy, toy. So the paint is drying on the, uh, the motor for the saw. Uh, I will finish doing this off uh, camera and then probably show you to, sh to say, hey, success. But uh, you don't need to see my struggle. So back in a few. So just to prove I'm not completely useless. No damage. Uh, it's a quirky little uh, fitting. I'll say that. Um, just like the real thing. Yeah, it brings back memory. I remember we used to have to go to the armory to check out our weapon every morning. Every morning. Well, this doesn't actually move, does it? No, it doesn't move. That kind of wiggles, but it doesn't really move. Because this doesn't really lock back. But again, still, the cool factor. The cool factor is there. Yes. Very cool. All right, there we go. M16A1 toy.